Okay, a ladder is placed against the wall and starts to fall. Draw a diagram showing the forces acting on the ladder. So we're going to go and use a GeoGebra applet for this. And the GeoGebra applet I will put in the notes of the video if you want to use it for yourself, the link to it. So going to our GeoGebra applet. So here we've got our wall, we've got our ladder and we've got the ground. At the moment, the ladder is two meters away from the wall. Okay, and so if we press uh, start, okay what will happen is the ladder will start to fall away from the wall okay so let's just start and reset that and start and stop it somewhere around here we've got these things called mu and lambda we'll talk about those in a minute so what are the forces that act on the ladder well we've got the weight of the ladder which acts on from the center of gravity okay which is w okay we got uh the normal from the ladder acting uh, from the ground we've got this here okay and the normal acting from the wall which is acting from from th that way so it's always perpendicular to the wall and the ground but we also got these these two forces here which are frictional forces there will be some friction between the ladder and the ground now if in mechanics they say it's smooth then there is no friction or sometimes we use the term rough that means there is friction okay so we've got one frictional force here okay and we've got one frictional force here now it does actually depend on what the normal reaction is and there's a, a thing called the coefficient of um, coefficient of uh, friction it's normally expressed as mu okay and you can see if I change it that will make it the same size as the action react uh, as the um, normal it's normally some something between one zero and one okay so you can set these with so if you do mechanics with friction you can you can do you can see that one changes as well okay so that's what these are there for okay uh, quite good fun if we just um, start to see it um, fall like that we can see the ladder falling all the way down to the bottom like that obviously when we do that then there will be a different set of forces now it'll just be the weight of the ladder and then the reaction acting up from the um from to the ground from that particular point at that at that stage okay so this applet i'll put in the uh, notes of the video i hope you've understood and i hope you've enjoyed this and i thank you very much for watching